line goes. But it's not about what I think. It's about what you guys think. Why don't you tell us at LOL Esports? Yang's team. Moon is very mobile, so even if Yank is, or it doesn't show up, Uni might have to flash. Yep, there's two flashes right there, and Yankos comes right on in with the barrel. Uni's in some trouble. It's unfamiliar territory for him. Giving up draw? first blood. Oh, there comes the stop playing. Yank, and he's looking for Steve, but Yankos is ready with the counter gank, and no flash on Huni. Yeah, and it's a little bit too late here for Rain over Huni. Again, he could go down. Shields on him for just a second, but Yankos still picks him up. Rain over now looking to avenge his fallen comrade as Yankos goes back in, throws the barrel. Rain over is going down. That's Steve with a 2 and 0 start on this Maokai and double buffs. Looks to be doing. Yankos, though, has to be careful. Rain over coming around the side. There's a pink ward. Yankos. There's a teleport now coming in for Steve. Febivin and Rainover might have been baited here as Duke Duck comes around the line. In comes Huni as well. Emperor's divide to push they Steve back, around. but they can start the turn around if they need to. Nuke Duck is the one they're focusing down, but battered and bruised, him and Steve. Well, Steve is running actually in right now, and Febivin's going down. Steve picks it up yet again, but he's shut down by Huni, who gets some much needed gold back as Nuke Duck gets slain by Yellowstar. Coming up from the bottom side, the fight continues as Yankos looking for Huni and Rain over, but now looking just to get out safe. He's got a flash on him, but in comes the Urgot. Wool oh, looking coming. to finish this one up. He's flashing forward, and he's gonna find Rain over. Vander still on the chase with Yellowstar. All said and done, though, quite a lot back and forth, but Rocket comes out ahead. Sorry, but the rest of Fnatic are coming in. There's actually a teleport in from Huni, but Dragon is already down, so he cancels it. That with the two Dragon averages. Rockets usually want to take one a lot later in Fnatic. Well, they're the ones who couldn't contest this time around. Meanwhile, though, Steve is getting chunked out by Huni, who's finally gotten rolling, and he's stunned up after the flash. Huni follows him through and solos him down. Huni, Huni, Huni. What the hell just happened? Being able to pull these things back to the place they needed to be as Febivin gets knocked back to the place Rocket wanted him to be. Nuke Duck spending his flash, but Febivin uses one of his own on top of the cleanse to make an escape. Anders Band would have landed. Managed to get to the wall in time and flash over. No flash, flash this time, but they're going aggressive on Steve. They are. Rainover's going to take some damage, and Twisted Advance won't be enough to stop him. Pouring that one gank where Febivin flashed out, and Huni. He knows he can take this right into the minion waves too. So Steve's throwing down the Maelstrom right now, but I don't think he's going anywhere. He zooms on in to find Huni, but his health bar has already melted and you're not going anywhere. Get in the rune prison. Huni's still chunking him down. Finally takes a little bit more damage, but an auto attack will do it again. Four and two on the rise now. Now finishes the World of Ages, 40 minutes in. That's enough, stun on Febivin. Stun on Febivin indeed, but he's getting some help from Rain over. And there are the Transcendent Blades. Jankos comes in, knocks him back, and before the Emperor's Divide can finish, Vander has picked him up. The way it's looking, he already does a decent amount of damage. Uh -oh, Look at Vander. Vander. Yeah, right through the Black Shield. Burned down as Yellowstar picks up the kill. The Depth Charge, you can't flash away from that Woolite. Yellowstar still lumbering forward, gonna get slowed down. Approaching 9001, I would say. Right now, Huni gets turned around tower. under the tower, but can he deal with Yankos and Woolite? He turns his attention to Woolite as the tower goes down. Don't think he'll live through this one, Crepo. Shut down by Woolite, but they needed two to do it. Now, this shutdown might very well be Incredibly important for this game. Gold, line. Gold is even. Aggression on Nuke Duck. Reckless is here too. Yep, Reckless is here as well. In come the Sand Soldiers in the True Shot Barrage. Reckless with a nice one and two. What the hell is happening this game? It started so well for Rocket, but now they find themselves down a thousand gold. Have on the bottom side, Reckless pecking away at the tower. Steve can't finish it up. Twisted advance in. They're gonna finish the tower, and now they're looking for Steve. He just got himself baited, but he dodges it out from the true shot barrage. Rain over, flashes forward. Ezreal comes in as well. Reckless really wants to pick this one up, and he'll get it. Off to a good start on the Ezreal. Man dive, Rotter, a four man dive, and that's impressive. Yes, it is. Huni, that was a fantastic He is, yep, just gonna get absolutely locked up by all the CC Rocket have itself now. Three members of Rocket, though. They're stacking on the bottom side. Flash oh, and hold on the Huni. He's going to not be stunned up, though. The Dark Binding doesn't connect. Teleports are flying. Yellowstar comes in. Woolite is gonna be the one shut down as Yellowstar picks it up. Huni still focused down. He'll finally fall. Emperor's Divide will push Rocket back into the tower as Steve gets poked down by the Sand Soldiers. In comes Rain over. Flash for Flash. Yellowstar for Nuke Duck. Nuke Duck on the run with the Transcendent Blades. True Shot Barrage will soften up Yankos yet again. Fanatic in prime control 
control of this game. They're in a driver's seat right now. Yep, they got a teleport for Huni too as he's just come back off cooldown. They know Yankos and Vander Smite's are prowling around. Up. It's not quite there though. Can he get in time? No, he's being chased away. Reckless helps him get out of town. Yellow starts lurking at the side. Rockets looking for a pick though. They found Yellowstar, not the buddy. ideal target, but Rainover's there. Vander throws down the Soul Shackles, but it's Woolite who's getting chunked. Yellowstar tries to dredge away, but he gets shut down by Yankos. Woolite now on the run, Rainover. They just don't have enough damage, and Huni gets stopped up by the Explosive Cast. Rocket, they might have just barely managed to find it as Yankos narrowly gets out. Febivin, though, comes in with a massive ultimate, and he looks for Steve. The soldiers are flying. Here's he Reckless. picks him up. Reckless comes in. Double kill, however, as Nuke Duck picks it up and answers. Reckless, he's going down as well, and Rocket secure the ace. But they're bleeding towers. Look at Fnatic sieging in the mid lane. They're doing what Rocket can't do in a fight. Febivin, though, is tanking under tower as he slides and glides around. Nuke Duck not quite going down. They can't finish him. Febivin jumped on by Steve. In for the flank around the side. They throw the exhaust down as Woolite is able to secure the kill onto Huni. Nuke Duck can't really get involved in this fight. Or Huni, he goes in the back. There's a double kill for Steve. Looking for Rainover, polishing him off. That is going to be an ace for none. Rocket, big fight. Big win for them. My point, if Steve falls behind, but uh, but gets the Maokai, he can come back and twist it advance in. Yes, he can. Finds Huni on that one, who just doesn't yeah, quite have guy. enough. They don't quite have enough to take him down, but Wolite gets jumped in on. He's going to spend his ultimate. Can he waddle away fast enough? No, the crab walk is not strong enough. Fnatic are looking to pick off even more as Reckless takes down Steve. Two for none so far. Running forward, Nuke Duck dashing onto the blue box. You will get kited at every fight so far. Rocket has won when they either surprise Fnatic with their position or came from multiple angles, multiple sides. All right, indeed. The question is, do they right now? Instead, Tower going drops, to give up the tower. Not so sure. Ping in the middle for Fnatic. They know that Rocket are going to try to play the game of chicken. So, yeah, at this point, Rocket, they're in a little bit of a desperate scramble to try and defend. So they have to start. They got Hootie. In comes Steve. They find Hootie, but he flashes away. Steve, push back. Emperor's Divide. True shot barrage. The combo is real as Nuke Duck now being fired down. Double kill over to Reckless. And the inhibitor still being poked away as Reckless pokes the rest of the team away. Feverson still has his cleanse. Hootie still has his teleport. Inhibitor is down. Baron is down. Looking for a. Uh -oh. Yankos and Vander dress well. lined in. They're gonna send it out. Bebevin, Rainover, Reckless all knocked apart. And that explosive cast may very well have saved Rocket this game, but maybe not Here's enough. Wolfgar's 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 found. Hyper kinetic position reverse. Crab walk away. Can he make it to the base gate? The race is on, and I don't think he's going anywhere. Booney locks him up and takes him down. Four people on the top lane. Booney's in the base. He's looking to chase them down as Steve picks up Febivin. Fnatic not perturbed by this one. Reckless picking up a kill onto Willite now. Meanwhile, look back to Huni as he's 2v1-ing. Nuke Duck going down right now. So is Huni. Yankos picks him up, but he still slays Nuke Duck in the process. Steve trying to get all in everybody's business, but Reckless will take him down. The gates are open. Fnatic is on the Nexus turrets as the Super Minions take down one. They'll polish off another. The shred they've got is just so real right now. Yankos and Vander trying desperately to defend. What an incredible game. Back and forth. Rocket ahead. Fnatic back in the game. Rocket back ahead. And Fnatic, they close it out with a 3-0 so far.